Hey everybody, uh, Len Stewart, the Pixel Plopper here. Uh, I've been getting some good feedback from my audience. Um, today I want to show everybody how to make some furniture. Um, it's been a topic that uh, I've been getting messages about for a long time. So uh, let's just jump into it. I can show you some of the stuff I've made over like the past couple months and years actually um, like these are some of the tables I've made uh, counters let me make this bigger for everybody here uh, there we go okay these are all my doors <clears throat> uh, you can make all kinds of stuff um, using um, the technique I'm going to teach you today See all my desks that I made. Carpets. Probably not going to do carpets today. I might do carpets in a separate video since that's a that's an art form. <laughs> Kitchen stuff, chairs. All kinds of goodies. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm going to show you how I come up with these. These are just brushes. Um, I could make them, like I could, I could just make the outline, um, but I use brushes, and these are the kind of brushes that I use. These are just loaded in. I, I can show you where you can find these. Um, one second. Oh, oh, oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Huh. There we go. Um, on Google, you can type in this long ass thing that I typed in. Um, isometric pixel art furniture brushes Photoshop. Or you could type in ISO isometric pixel brushes because that's kind of what they are. Um, but if you put in this, I, I clicked on, uh, oh shit, come on. So I, I would click on that image. Um, and if you go to this page, you can actually download the, uh, ABR files of this, of these templates. Let's just show more. at the page now you're not gonna make this stuff verbatim um, you're gonna really take this stuff and make your own unique furniture out of it like I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it but these are good starting places so you don't have to like make the thing from scratch and be worried about like uh, how you're going to dimensionally put it together uh, because, you know, like if you do it freehand, you're going to probably come across a few mistakes and you're going to be like, oh shit, then uh, I got to make this end longer or these, these pixels don't line up real right or whatever. Um, so, so what you do is you download the file and you go back to Photoshop and you, uh, where is it? you go to presets and you go to your preset manager and this will give you all of your uh, brushes it's basically an outline of what your brush palette looks like um, <clears throat> so with the file that you just downloaded make sure it's unzipped and everything and then you go to load and you look for your ABR files so these I've already loaded these in but basically you hit open and it will add them to the end here. So whatever you have in your in your uh, initial brush palette, it'll just end up tagging on to the end of here. 
Um, if you don't like certain brushes, you can always go through and delete them, you know, and hit delete here or whatever. So now that you have a, like a library of stuff to choose from, um, I'm only really going to do a few of them in this tutorial. I, I know that there was other pieces of furniture that, uh, um, users really want, or my subscribers really wanted me to get to, um, I'm only going to do these four today. Um, I'm going to do another few in another video. And because what happens is I have, in all, in all, I have like 10 items. I have like beds, tables, chairs, shelving, desks, cabinets, plants, a couch, and uh, a TV uh, or a computer, whatever. Um, the, the, the more lengthier stuff that uh, isn't a desk, a table, or a, a bed, or a chair. Um, I'll get to that. I'll get to those kind of stuff, like a plant, you know, crazier stuff. I'll, I'll get to that in another video. Um, this video is really just to show you how I how I lay out these things. Um, now, uh, I'm going to really just show you that um, all I did here, uh, let's go to my bed because that's gonna actually let's do the table first because I think the table will lead into doing the the desk and the uh, bed so let's single this guy out here um I really don't like this table <laughs> I mean look at this it, it it's it's odd it's odd. it has an odd number and it doesn't align to my grid um so what I'll do, um, by the way, just to just to clarify how I made this table, uh, I gotta find it in my. There it is. So uh, I just really took this and plopped it here, and that's how you got a table. So I don't really like how this looks. <laughs> um, I could I could have just made it like I said. And uh, I'm really just going to delete a lot of laying here. And we could keep the three there for the rounded corners. I think that'll be look cool, right? Um, I'm just using like an arbitrary color right now uh, for just doing this, uh, just to get just to get myself an outline. <clears throat> So let's uh, let's first make some better legs. I mean, you're just gonna do it regular pixel art style. Actually, I didn't really want to do that. Let's just do two lines instead of three across. And, and you see, it still doesn't line up. So let's uh, let's take this out of here. That. Okay, it's looking a little better. Uh, okay, okay. And let's do this. All right, now it's starting to look a little more like how I like a table to look. Um, Now you can make this any height that you want. I usually like uh, waiting uh, until I've uh, pretty much done creating the thing. Um, over here, you'll notice that uh, I use um, different color palettes for different things, of course. Um, I typically like using this right here, the, um, the little gradient that I have here going on with the different colors. I have um, <coughs> six shades of like this, this uh, sepata um, color that I like using. Um, so let's just pick a, a middle shade for right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, outline a lot of this stuff or color in.
And you can really do this in any colors you want. Uh, Photoshop actually, uh, you know, gives you supplies you with this little gradient that I'm using, which is pretty convenient. Um, you could use black and white, whatever you want. I like already using a predefined palette. So, like, if it's if it's this big long one here, or if it's the one I like using this one, um, I feel like I can go and change the color if I want uh, later, which I'll show you as well. So, of course, I'm gonna make this here. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, what am I going to do for the legs? I can just do this, really. Tables are the easiest, by far. <laughs> Okay, it's that one. And I'm going to do this one. I can also show you how I put shines in the table, like I did, uh, like I did with this desk here. It's pretty neat. Uh, I just really blob it on, you'll see. <clears throat> Uh, I could really color the table any shade that I want. Um, like I'll do, uh, let's do that. Uh, that doesn't really look right, does it? Let's do. Uh, let's do my lightest one. Um, use that. And then, what I also like doing is making the top brighter to match the surface so you don't really see that there is a line there of some sort so now you pretty much have your uh, your standard table so uh, as far as shines go um, I like I like making a different layer so if I do a new layer it's just called shine there we go and then we can take like a white color or some light color of your choosing and start making like uh, patterns in it. You don't want to just go right up to the edge. Kind of want to leave that little edge there because tables could like at least this table in my mind um, it feels like it curves on the one end so like on this end it probably doesn't because you're staring at it from this the southern direction right so uh, it, it probably doesn't have that um, curve where you would notice it in the shine of what you're making here so I'm just gonna do this this whatever really you can do any pattern you want I uh, Maybe it's just a shiny wooden table. Who knows, right? Let's spread out some of these lines. We don't want too many close together because then it makes it seem like you're trying too hard. <laughs> uh, all right. You can you can make really weird ones if you want. Minimalist. Let's get rid of some of these off the end. I don't really like. Uh, let's get rid of that one. There we go. Um, now that you have this one shine, what we can do is we can reduce the opacity. Well, just a little bit. Make it so it feels like a natural shine. 
Um, we can even make some darker ones um, by duplicating this. And let's make it dark. I usually just do this so rather than painting it the whole color. Let's get rid of the lighter shine that I just made for now. I'm just not getting rid of it, but I mean like, you know, making it so it is invisible. Keep these black for a second. Um, we can... Let's just keep it to a few for now. I want my lighter one to shine so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Get rid of one of these. You don't want to junk it up either with uh, shines. I think uh, I think that you don't really get a good um, <clears throat> authentic feel of the shines if uh, you have too many of them. But this one's going to have a lot. I don't usually use this many. But I'm just really doing it to show you guys. Uh, oops, black. Okay, now let's do, this is 19%, let's do 19%. Okay, um, I'm going to get rid of some of these because I don't like too many. Feel free to uh, leave me a nasty comment if you think I'm uh, making this more difficult than I need to. I mean, uh, we can all learn from each other here. All right. So now that I have these two together, I'm going to let's let's merge them both. But first, let's make them both uh, turn the opacity all the way up. Merge layers. Now we can use the general capacity for the whole thing. Now you have a table with some shines in it. Um, if we really want to get tricky and and change this this blah sepica color to something else we could do that too. We can just I like using hue and saturation and uh, just kind of darken it down making a brown table. So I'm kind of thinking wood for this one right? It's not too bad, but uh, the black and white kind of look a little weird. So what we'll do is we will take the shine and maybe darken it a little. And then let's add some color to it. that dark that looks a little weird now so maybe we should lighten that and give that a color now of course this is just how I make it you don't have to make it the same way um, my stuff always turns out a little strange or just because I kind of take the uh, long road sometimes like I was saying all right I'm just babbling um <laughs> here you go uh this let's just uh what should I do here with these colors all right I think that looks good enough we're gonna move on so there's your table 
looks pretty decent, right? I'm sure you, if you're a pixel artist of any caliber using Photoshop, you can make this. It wasn't hard. It took me a minute, a couple minutes. Uh, wait a second. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't merge the shine and the table. You may not want to merge them. Usually what I do uh, sometimes if I don't want to merge certain effects or whatever is I'll just make them a group. So you highlight both of them and you make new group from layers and you call it wood table. And there you go. Um, you have your wood table. Uh, desks are basically the same thing. Um, I could show you how to do a desk. Um, I could show you how to make uh, this table into a desk. That's, that's very useful when you're doing this as well. Um, other things that you've made, like a table or whatever, you will want to convert to other things that you make. So like this desk, for example, I could totally take the surface of this table and put it on the surface of this desk. Actually, you know what? Now that I have a table here, I'm going to also show you how to do something extra. I'm going to feel I'm feeling nice today. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do a tablecloth. So, you have your table. Uh, I like using black and white, gray, black, whatever uh, gradient for this um, color gradient. So th this is also in Photoshop is the like the default swatches. Um, you can use those. You can make up your own. Whatever you feel like doing. Um, other tablecloths I've done. Here you go. And you can tell that they're just tablecloths. I don't have a table under them. They they look like they have a table under them though, don't they? So there's there's both of those. And you can make them any color. I can show you how to get that deep color out of this. But for right now, I'm just going to show you how to make the damn thing. Alright. So, of course, you just really just go over it. Uh, I'm not coloring on top of here. You'll see that I, I made a new layer to make a tablecloth here. And of course, tablecloths get a little darker. And you, when it goes down the side, um, for right now, let's just keep it straight across, keep it simple. Do, 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 do. Okay. And now you kind of have a tablecloth going on right there. Um, other things you might want to do is kind of make uh, that, how it hangs over a little uneven. And there you go. You kind of have a thing going on there with the with the unevil, uh, uh, unevil, uneven ends. Um, they are evil. Um, all right. So let's uh, let's give it some more effect. Uh, you can do this when it's kind of in the in parts. and kind of give it some uh, def decent flare. And you know what too is that you don't you don't really have to make it dark or light or anything like that. Um, or too light or too dark at this point because I can show you later how you can change all that. All right, there you go. You have your little waves. I'm going to use this color and just make some lines on the top. And 
and you have tablecloth. Um, so uh, yeah, to, to make it more lighter so you don't get those harsh uh, things, you could just you go to hue and saturation, turn it up. Turn it up. All right. Uh, if you want to say, burr, 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 like make the one end darker than the other, you can do that too. I'll just take my polygonal lasso. Oh shit. Let's do that. All right. And then we can go back to even saturation and darken that. So there you go. And there's your tablecloth. Uh, it's a white tablecloth. We can easily change the color of it. Um, what I like doing, I like turning down the whole brightness, of, lightness of the whole thing. And since it's black and white, you can't change the color just yet, but we can do a color balance thing and add some color in here. So we can make it a red tablecloth pink now, but we can make it real red. If you uh, turn up the saturation and turn down the lightness, make it any color you want. You can make it blue. Let's make it blue. The blue will turn out a little bit better. Really harsh blue. Or royal blue. Okay, you got it. And there you go. You got a tablecloth. And you still have your table underneath. Which means that uh, you could really take this tablecloth and use it for anything you want. You could really use it without a table under it and just say, hey, you know, the, you can't see the legs from that, from that point or whatever you want to make the excuse for. Um, so there you go. There is your table. Now, uh, let me leave the tablecloth off for a second, and I'm going to show you. Uh, I could show you the desk, um, but I almost feel it's too monotonous with what I already made with this table. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you the desk. If you really want me to show you the desk, let me know, and I'll show you in the next video where I start getting into more difficult things. But I really wanted to show you a bed. <clears throat> Since it kind of marries the two styles that I showed you, how to make a tablecloth and the, and the table. Um, now, of course, this is out of the uh, brush template that I used. And, and of course, I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to erase some of it and remake some of it. So let's do that. Let's uh, put this on my grid so I can see what I'm doing, making sure it all matches up. Hmm. <clears throat> well, you don't really have to put the foot in the bed here, it seems like. It kind of is covered by this sheet that they provide here for you. So we don't have to do that. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, let's take, let's be a cheater and make and take this tablecloth and use it for the purposes of the bed. <clears throat> so we're going to want to fit it to the bed template and just move it down a 
Let's change the color. No, it's too too much this red, pink, whatever. Okay. Now that that's done, we can go back to our bed. Um, we can take um, different colors of gray and white to make up the sheet that may go over here. May not in your design, but it will in mine. Fill all this in. <clears throat> We're not going to do the pillows right now. We'll wait to do those. <coughs> now you'll notice in this one I'm not using the sepica color because uh, it's not really necessary. I, I kind of find I have more dynamic if I uh, more of a dynamic. If I just use these lighter colors, or these black and white colors. Ignore this pillow that they put on here. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. It's because it doesn't, it doesn't look right. It just looks like a hump. And there's your bed. Um, well, let's use these seven good colors for the legs. Okay, it's starting to look like a bed. Um, I'm really just doing the bare bones of uh, how you make these things because. Um, you're, you as a designer are going to end up making the patterns for these that you want to make. And I can show you how to make patterns on cloth and stuff like that. Um, but I'd rather just show you how to make the furniture first. Okay, so we... I'm trying to figure out how I should show you guys how to do this pillow. Um, it's not hard. Let's just do that. Make a new layer for it, like I just did. Start drawing what you think a pillow would look like sitting here. So I'm just really just using one color for now. But you can make the colors for the bed, or <laughs> I'm sorry, the pillow as uh, just one color for right now, and start adding this shading in. Um, after. So there's a pillow I'm making. Um, you can make it the full length of the bed, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to make one little one. No big deal, folks. Just a pillow. It can be a blob, it can be anything.
and it does kind of blend in with the sheet but what we can do is we can change the color of the sheet or the color of the pillow in this case if you want So there is your basic pillow, pretty much. It's just a, it's just a blob. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, okay. So what we'll do is we'll separate the pillow. Oh no! Wait a second. <laughs> I didn't do it as uh, all one. I did it as thinking it was on the same layer. But we can, we can keep that. We can merge the layers. We can make it however we want to make it. Um, why I'm selecting just uh, specific things from this pillow is because I'm going to show you how I'm going to add a color to it. Rather than just a white pillow, unless that's what you want. Make it a different color. There we go. Make it an ugly bluish green color. Okay. So now, of course, you're going to want to fix it up a little bit. Or if you did it perfect, then good job. You don't have to do anything with it. But there you go. There's your. Here's your basic pillow. And there's your basic bed. I'm going to merge both of these. Now we got a bed. While using the uh, tablecloth. How cool is that? All right, moving on. We're going to do this armchair, which I really dislike. I hate doing armchairs. Because they're, they can turn out so awkward and wrong um, all the time. And especially using like the, the, this uh, brush template, um, the specific brush template, because it does things in odd numbers rather than, rather than giving you something that actually uh, could either align to your grid or or something that is just even. I mean, look at how like they stagger these pixels here. It's it's crappy. They did a crappy job. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so for right now, let's. Uh, I, I I guess I. Uh, you know what? Let, let's uh, let's fix some of what's going on here. So it's going to drive me nuts. Oh my god. Okay. Basically, I'm kind of redrawing this whole thing in a way. Okay, I guess that'll do. I'm going to make it with a higher back. So what I like doing is I like taking it apart a little bit. Move it up. I'm going to show you a different way um, of making an armchair as well. And that um, that'll come from taking pictures off the web and actually like shrinking them down and making them this size and then and then basically carving yourself out a pixel uh, an isometric pixel asset from it so for right now I'm just gonna show you how to make this one and then we'll get to that one uh, so like before I'm just gonna use the sepulchre colors
Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, these arms and this armchair stick the fuck out way too much. I guess it, they don't, but uh, uh, I don't know. I just really hate this this uh, the way that they're doing it here. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Yeah, 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 I know. I could be coloring this in with my bucket tool. That's what I should be doing. Um, well, I can't really do that anymore. I could do that with this one. The arms are different because I'm going to want to shade those in a way. Also, you know, this, this top, it should be rounded. So we'll do that right now. Round it off, round it off, round it off. We'll take away some of these. Uh, some of this extra stuff that they have me in here with. Take some of this outline away. And of course, just adding some roundiness to it. So now you have a rounded top. Let's use a darker one to make under carrot under uh, parts. Use the seat. Okay, it's starting to look like a chair, sort of, sort of. Like I said, I, I really don't like this brush thing, but it, it at least gives you, the watcher, um, some kind of frame of reference to go by. And of course, I can clean that up, make it look cool. And make a little spot here. There we go. And do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, okay. And we can get rid of this extra crap. There we go. Now I have a seat. 
It's not the greatest seat, but it is a seat. It is a uh, armchair, I guess you'd call it. And let's make it another color. Unless you want a sepica seat, and it's totally up to you. But I want one that is green, apparently. So uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll go with that for right now. Um, uh, actually, let's clean this up a bit because I'm starting to see that I don't want too much of uh, the thing going there. There we go. And of course, you can add like little dimples in it if you want. Like you could do. It's a pretty crappy dimple, but I think you understand my point. Um, okay, so now we have an armchair. So so far, I've basically given you the tools to uh, make start off start off your furniture sets. Um, this <clears throat> it, it's basically a process that's going to take you a little bit. I mean, with me, I will sit here and make these things as perfect as I can. Um, but what's cool about it is that you, um, as the artist, should be saving these things in a like a collective file. For example, here's my collective file. You can see I put all the chairs, or all the, <laughs> all the chairs, all the tables together, uh, all the carpets, all the chairs, of course, together, uh, kitchen stuff, cabinets. Um, if you make yourself an inventory like this, you can start making rooms where you can just plop in the stuff. Like here's, here's one that I did, where I just, <clears throat> I had the stuff already made, and I just plopped it in here. It maybe change the color to go more with the room or whatever. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, other things that I could show you how to make um, plants and trees. Um, so let's do a, a uh, let's do a plant. This time, we're going to go back to the internet. Um, let's go, let's just say, uh, bah, 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 bah. let's say trees, right? I guess just trees. I don't know if we'll find anything, but it's, uh, it, it may turn out to be a good thing. Look, they're giving me some really good trees here, actually, um, which is good. Let's see, which kind of tree do we want? Could really go for anything. Let's go for this one. I like this one. Uh, no, it has a shade on it. You gotta be worried. You gotta be, <laughs> gotta be worried. You gotta be uh, careful uh, about the ones with shade on here. No, these are too uh, bushy. This one? This one will do. Alright. Paste it in. Okay. There it is. It's bigger than life, of course, and we're going to want to free transform it. Uh, nearest neighbor, please make sure that is activated when you go to change the size of this. So, of course, we're going to make it smaller. And always hold shift so it stays in perspective, because if you don't, it goes all over the place. Alright, getting there, getting there. Let's uh, make it a little smaller. For this demonstration, I want to just keep it simple. You can make it as big as you want. Whatever. I'm going to get rid of all the white. And maybe even all the stuff that is similar to white. So let's uh, make the tolerance of my magic brush tool uh, 
Let's make it 23. Let's get bold with it. Alright. Get rid of that stuff. Still got some lighter colors here. Oops. There we go. Okay. It's starting to look like a tree. Well, it already looks like a tree. Um, <laughs> so here we go. We're going to take some of the uh, saturation out of it. And we definitely want to keep the lightness at zero. Let's brown it a little bit. Maybe it's fall. Who knows, right? We still have some light parts. So let me uh, try to get rid of some of them. This, this is a weird process too because you're having to actually go in and try to get rid of the uh, The parts that just don't fit, these lighter parts that just do not fit with what we're doing. You want to do this as much as possible so you get a, a nice looking tree. I feel like Jim Ross over here, like, uh, I'm going to make a pretty tree. And They'll come and eat your family and blah blah blah. <laughs> what? All right. Anyway, um, that's that. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some highlights to this tree. So I, I'm selecting that dark green, of course, and I want to make that brown. So because bark is brown, it ain't green unless it's like full moss or something. So there's that. Alright, here we go. Now I have a tree. See how hard was that? Not hard at all, right? And you can't get busted for any like copyright shit because you've kind of scaled this down to a point where you're... It's not even the same thing, you know? And not only that, but you can actually start like sh reshaping the tree. Like you can get rid of these extra parts if you don't want them. Like I like going around and kind of shoring up the tree so it's not exactly the same shape as the thing that you just copied from. And I, you know, I know that there's going to be people out there who uh, look at this video and say, "Hey, you know, you're uh, <clears throat> you're copying from something off the internet, and that's not right." I want to do this, my, I want to do it the old natural way. Well, I feel you, brother or sister, but, you know, the problem is, is that um, you are going to be here forever doing this. <laughs> you know, not only that, but you can make good trees this way. You can make good trees this way, and you're not going to get in trouble for it, and it still looks cool. You know what I don't like about this tree is that it's lighter on the top than it is on the bottom. But I, I mean, I usually like trying to make trees darker and uh, doesn't that don't look like they've been lit from the top. But that's okay. I mean, we can uh, we can go for that. We can we can keep that because I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of you are watching this video. Are like, yeah, you know, I, I actually like it that way. Why wouldn't you like that, Mr. Pixel Plopper? Um, well, that's uh, that's just me. I'm a weird guy. All right. So.
So you've successfully, you know, uh, reshaped this tree. There it is, folks. Your tree. I mean, a fine tree it is, isn't it? Now, um, if you want to, see, what I usually what I do is um, if, if I'm working on black backgrounds most of the time. Um, I have a color overlay that is just black. Right. If I get rid of it, it's <clears throat> it's white. Um, but I want to paint it so it's so I get a, a more of a neutral feel to it, and then I can go around the uh, sides of the tree. Whoops, I'm on my background still. And there we are, folks. There is your pixel tree. And how does it compare to the original that we did? Well, there's the original. And there's the one we made. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. All right, so now let's... let's uh, Let's get rid of this background. I actually want to compare it again. It looks similar to it, but you can't tell that I copied it exactly. It's very different. Not only that, but you know what's cool too is that you can actually shrink this down further or you can move parts of the tree, like you could take parts like this, then move it in. Oops. Why is this? Oh, well, it's because I'm on the wrong layer again. Figures. All right, here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, moving the tree part in. Okay, okay. You can do that with these little part here. You can even flip the tree around. Let's do that. It's pretty weird looking now that I kind of moved in some of the sides, I know. Not flawless, but not all trees are flawless. I mean, they're trees, you know, they're going to have flaws. Alright, so we're going to move that in. There you go. It looks, looks like a tree. <laughs> And of course, you can brush this up in any kind of way, fashion that you want. Um, I'm going to take all that yellow out of it. So let me let's uh, something I like to do sometimes. I like doing selection and color range, and then go into like pick the yellow part out. How green or how yellow? Okay, so. Basically, picking out that yellow part, and I'm going to change the color a little bit. Oh, oh! Of course, I'm on the wrong layer again. Oh my God! What are you doing, Pixel Plopper? All right, there you go. On the, on the tree layer. Not that I labeled it tree, but it's layer four and. Uh, Green, darken. Okay, there we are. Beautiful tree. And, and like I, like I'm saying right now, let's take the uh, grid off so it's not as distracting. Uh, something I figured out too is that these are a little similar. So 
Let's get rid of that. Plus, I like seeing more holes in the tree. Get rid of parts here. And there you have it. You have a tree. And it doesn't look anything like the, the other picture now um, that I stole it from. So there's that, and there is the original tree. Can't even tell, right? It's perfect. It's like it's like you just dreamt it up. Um, that the same method could be applied to pretty much anything. Uh, if you if you search for like isometric desks or isometric chairs or something like that, you can put you can put something like that together yourself um, using this same method. Uh, but if you're a naturalist and you want to make things like like how I made this table, then then that's up to you too. You know, do it any way that helps you get the job done as fast as you can do it for the best quality. Um, that's probably the best advice I could ever give anybody doing anything, whether it be art, whether it be doing uh, you know playing guitar or whatever. You know, you don't have to play it. You don't have to play a guitar like the masters, but you at least have to make it sound like you're one of the masters. You can play the guitar with your feet, but as long as you st sound like Steve Vai or, uh, you know, uh, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan or whoever, then, uh, you know, it doesn't matter, right? Because you're making sweet, sweet music. Alrighty. Um, I think that's all for today I'm going to put into this video because I, I kind of showed you um, the basics on how to uh, just a recap, you know, like just the basics of how I make tables, chairs, beds, trees, how you can take art from online and totally make it something of your own. Um, it's all very important. Um, one other thing I did want to share with you is that uh, some of these tables and chairs, uh, if you're, if you're like, um, <laughs> if you're OCD at, at any point and you want to align your tables to your grid, then do so. I didn't really do so here. I kind of did it with this table. Oh, shit. Um, I kind of did it with the table. I didn't really do it with the bed. And I definitely did not do it with this armchair, this crappy armchair that I made. Oh my god, it's so bad. I feel so embarrassed because now, like this video, you're gonna see this video and you're gonna be like, man, this guy isn't a pixel artist. He's a, he's a showman. I hate showmen. <laughs> uh, all right, so there you go. I just made it a little bit better, a little bit more acceptable. Okay. And then in, in my next video, um, uh, I'm going to do objects that cast light. And um, so that, that'll be like TVs um, and things like that. Uh, TVs like computers, uh, lamps, things that you can actually like put into your area. And I, may, I, I might even throw in some extra surprises too. So. Uh, that's all for the Pixel Pusher for this time. Um, please leave a message at the end of the beep. No. <laughs> please leave messages at in my comment section. Please uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you later. I know I rambled a lot in this video, but I think you guys got the picture. Take care.